Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights Over Arkham. This time I'm attempting the Clobbering Time Challenge, uh, set by Kennedy Hawk from the Marvel Champions Monthly fan podcast. Uh, the Clobbering Time Challenge is in Volume 2 this time. So, uh, last time when I played this, we only had six villains, so the gauntlet was against six of the villains that were uh, released so far. Now we have a lot more villains, so uh, there needed to be some randomizing on which uh, villains I ended up using. So with some randomization I ended up with Crossbones, Taskmaster, Red Skull, Ultron and Claw. And I will be playing the enemies in this order. Uh, I ended up using the heroes Miss Marvel, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Black Panther and Ant-Man. I also had the option to use Spider-Woman, Hawkeye and Thor. So I had their pre-built decks and the cards that came in their hero packs with uh, the player uh, and build the decks with. How this works is uh, you have a limited card pool. You can only have unique cards once in each of these five decks. So you can't have, uh, for example, Avengers Mansion in every deck. And how you pick the cards from the corset is if you hit corset characters or heroes, you build their pre-built decks and you have an option to use those cards that come in those decks. Uh, how I built these decks is that uh, Miss Marvel and Black Panther are aggression decks, Doctor Strange is a leadership deck, Iron Man is a justice deck and Ant-Man is a protection deck. Uh, I won't go into much of detail in uh, what are in the decks. I will post the deck list in the video description and also show the deck uh, before the game so you can check the deck list out before I start playing. I will be playing this challenge in uh, standard difficulty. But yeah, that's uh, basically the challenge. I'll post a link to the challenge, so if you are interested in trying it out for yourself, uh, you can check out the rules and how you uh, build the decks and all that good stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to start with Miss Marvel against Crossbones. Uh, Crossbones got uh, the power gauntlets in the setup, so uh, we have shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. So we got big hands, piercing strike, wiggle room, uh, biogenetic polymer suit, relentless assault and big hands. I think I'm uh, keeping the suit. Uh, we can keep the vehicle room. Uh, we could play one big hand, so kind of uh, mulliganing the relentless assault. So we got melee. Okay, and as a reminder, there are, I think there are none. Uh, there are not like three <laughs> double resources in this deck, so mulliganing for resources is not that useful. I had only one copy of each of the double resources, so I had to split them up uh, in five different decks. So let's start by using Kamala Khan's own ability, and we discard cards until we hit a Miss Marvel card, so we get Nakia Adir. So, I think I'm playing Nakia. Then I'll play the. I'll exhaust, play the suit. I'll change to Miss Marvel. 
and I think I'll play one copy of big hands. So we deal four damage, and I'll just hit for one. Okay, and that's our turn. Oh, uh, just a moment. I'm actually not hitting for the one. Uh, forgot I was intending of using this for an event and using this to play an exhausting Miss Marvel to play the big hands again. So I deal another four damage. And that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to five. We get assess the situation, piercing strike, Hulk, sneak by and piercing strike. Then we go to the villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme. Crossbones attacks. I won't defend. So crossbone hits for one plus one, so two damage. And because there is the power gauntlets in play, I have to discard one card from my hand. I'll end up discarding the sneak by. We get an encounter card. It is a Hydra soldier, so we need to deal with that Hydra soldier. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So I think I'm playing... I think I'm playing Hulk. So I'll use the piercing strikes to play Hulk. And... Uh, hmm. I'll... Use Hulk to hit the Hydra Soldier. So we deal at least 3 damage. And we get an energy. So we deal 1 damage to everything. So this is defeated. We get an encounter card. Then uh, I play the Assess the Situation. So my hand size is plus 1 for next turn. Then I'll I'll ward because Hulk can hit cross bones next turn. That is my turn, so uh, we ready up. I'll draw back up to six this turn because I played the assess the situation. Get the moment of triumph. Press the advantage, uh, Bruno. Corelli, moment of strength, piercing strike and strength. Okay, and go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Crossbones attacks. I'm fine discarding one card, so I'll take it with Miss Marvel. So one plus one, so two again. So I'll discard one card. I don't need double moment of triumphs. We go to the counter cards, uh, we get full auto. Uh, discard X cards from top of the encounter deck where X is crossbones attack. And take one indirect damage, so we discard one, it's two, so we take two. Okay. Actually, I'm, I take one on myself and one on Hulk. That's fine. The other one is uh, Madame Hydra. Okay, so we need, really need to kill off Madame Hydra next turn. Uh, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, well, um, the Madame Hydra causes a, some form of uh, problem. Okay, I think uh, we can use the press the advantages, but I think we will uh, first Hulk, Madame Hydra. 
so three damage. Okay, and well, we hit Hel Helicarrier, so uh, two more damage. Okay, so we only need one more to kill off Madame Hydra. I'll play one of the Presti Advantages, so, so I'll kill off Madame Hydra. I'll exhaust to play it again, I'll use Bruno. And uh, I've Yeah, uh, I'll play a third, press the advantage, I'll use strength, so we deal. Actually, I would have used the moment of triumph when I defeated the Adam Hydra, so we healed one, and yeah, go to the phase two. So we search for the crossbones machine gun. And then I think I think we'll head to Alter Ego for a bit. I'll use the ability to discard cards. Uh, I get Shrink. That's useful, I'll just discard it and ready up and draw back to, up to 6. Let's put the health on. Respond. 14 health. And press the advantage, first aid, moment of triumph, relentless assault, Valkyrie, and Eagen. Okay, um, we go to the villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme. Crossbone schemes for 2 plus 3, so we advance. So we build the next from here. So Crossbones has the energy shield also, so uh, retaliate one. That's not too bad. And counter card is owned by Dawn, so I'll just exhaust to... Uh, I'll just discard a Persona. So that's that. Well, uh, yeah, that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so let's discard cards to get the this Marvel card. We get sneak by. Not that useful. Uh, to change this. Okay, and uh, I think we just uh, heal up. Then we'll flip, and then I'll. I think I'll play. Weekend, I'll use rel a moment of strength and uh, first aid. Well, not first aid, relentless assault. Then I will uh, let's hit with Hulk. So three damage. And Hulk goes away. Well Hulk would have gone away either way. Then I will I'll play Valkyrie. And I'll use. Well, I didn't hit any any uh, energy resources, but it 
that doesn't matter. There's no minions in play, so I'll deal two damage here. That is my turn. Already up. Go back up to five. Get sneak by a mockingbird, melee, spider girl, and big hands. So next turn, I think we are doing double big hands turn. To finish off. We'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat. Oh yeah, uh, Valkyrie should have taken one more because of the retaliate. Okay, so we add a threat there and response attacks. Uh, Valkyrie will defend. Then we spend one from here and take two damage here. Counter card is uh, combat knife. Okay, so we'll just add it here. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so this will be a quick turn. Um, we'll play big hands. I'll use the biokinetic power suit and I'm beacon and we'll sneak by. So we deal six damage. Then I will exhaust Miss Marvel to play the big hands again. I'll just use melee and mockingbird. So we deal another four damage, defeating crossbones. So that is the first uh, villain in the gauntlet defeated. So Miss Marvel versus crossbones. Uh, Miss Marvel won quite easily. And next up in the gauntlet we have uh, Doctor Strange in leadership aspect against Taskmaster. So I'll be setting up that next. And I'll be right back. Okay, next up in the Clobbering Time Challenge is the Strange against Taskmaster. And we are playing on leadership aspect with Doctor Strange. So let's see our opening hand. Draw one too many cards, so we get the Cloak of Levitation. That's really good. Uh, one Sky Cycle, one Reinforced Suit, Master of Mystic Arts, Black Knight, and Magical Enhancements. I'm not feeling the upgrades are not that important right now. We rather need to see more allies and uh, don't see this being that important either. I'll keep these three. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, we get Stinger, who was ancient, and Mystical Studies. So I think I'm letting Taskmaster. Not do that much. Let's see the how we get the images of icon. Yeah, I think I'll keep that so we can let the uh, threat build up a bit and then go to alter ego uh, uh, to hero uh, maybe next turn and then uh, uh, remove that threat. So I start by playing the cloak of levitation. I'll use US agent and. Uh, well, let's use Black Knight. Then uh, I play Stinger. And I'll keep the Master of Mystic Arts in hand because if we get a really good one, we can really do some work with the cloak. And that is our hero turn. Well, uh, Stinger could actually hit for one. Yeah, let's ready up. We draw back up to six. Okay, 
well, um, I was debating if I would search the Eye of Agamotto with the Mystical Studies, but well, we got lucky and got it right away. Then we get Iron Man, Ronin, Downtime and Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Okay, so Earth's Mightiest Heroes with Stinger and <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange is really, really fun. You can do a lot of uh, reading up. But yeah, uh, we go to the villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme, Taskmaster schemes for one, plus uh, if you are in hero form, well I'm not, so nothing. So we add one threat to the main scheme, then counter card is, uh, concussion grenade, alter ego, you are confused, we are confused. Place one threat on the main scheme, okay. And that is the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. I think we'll start by... I'm, I'm not feeling playing these uh, allies right at the moment, so we'll uh, play Eye of Agamotto with those. Then I'll flip. I'll get rid of the confusion. Then I will... Uh, Play the master. Well, I'm, I'm not using it on that. I'll just uh, uh, ready and play the images of icon. I'll use downtime for that. So remove four threats and confuse the villain. Then I will. Reveal the next one, so Vapors of Altor. We could actually play that. So I'll uh, play this to change this to stunned. And I think I'm keeping this. Oh yeah, and when we flipped we forgot to take the consequential damage, so we took one damage from this uh, uh, effect here. So that is the villain phase, we go to the, uh, the... The hero phase, we go to the villain phase, so we go back up to five. Okay, uh, we get Sky Cycle, another Earth's Mightiest Heroes, War Machine and Protective Ward. So we add a threat to the main scheme and I'll just add another one, so I won't take damage from this Hunting Down Heroes forced response. Uh, we remove the stun, Encounter Card is, Assault, I'll just... I think I'll just take the assault on Doctor Strange, so 2 plus 2 is 4 damage. And that is that turn, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, mm, I think I need to go down and heal and get rid of that uh, papers and altar. I think I'm playing War Machine this turn, so I generate a resource. I'll use Earth Mightiest Heroes, Sky Cycle, and Protective Ward. Play War Machine. So War Machine has toughness. So I didn't think we are okay, just not going down to draw mode. So I'll the uh, Tward for two. I'll use Earth's Mightiest Heroes to, on War, well, uh, on Stinger. Ready up. I will hit for one and ready up, hit for one. And that is our turn.
we get Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Power Gloves, Sanctum Sanctorum, Team Training and Magical Enhancements. We go to the Villain phase, let's just add two threats. Uh, Taskmaster attacks, War Machine will defend. We remove the tough and count Carnies. Task mask their sword. Okay, well, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So, I'm thinking I'm uh, playing the team, uh, team training down. I'll do that. I'll play. Just um, I'll flip and heal. Then I will play the power gloves on War Machine. Oh, yeah, we could have um, ready, so we uh, actually could have hit for one damage here. So let's back up that much and so I'll hit in hero mode uh, ready with the cloak heal and that's it okay uh, we discard this I'll drop up to six oh yes uh, I'll, I'll save stinger for later we get uh, the power of leadership, power gloves, all ayat, Ant-Man, Magic Blast, and Genius. We add a threat to the main scheme, and now we are not in hero mode, so we don't have to add the extra uh, threat. Taskmaster schemes for one, plus one, so two. Change that to five. Counter card is uh, photographic reflexes. So, when a player attacks Taskmaster, prevent all damage that would be dealt to Taskmaster and deal an equal amount of damage to that player's identity instead. Then discard photographic reflexes. Max one per attack. Okay, so I think Stinger will be removing that. So, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So this turn I'm uh, definitely playing Goliath. I'll use Genius. Uh, no, let's back up. I'm uh, exhausting to discard this. So we get the Crimson Bands, uh, which we really want to play. I think I'm flipping. We take consequential damage uh, times two. Just take it here. Then I'm readying. I'll play the Crimson Bands. So we stun. Oh, yeah, I paid for a bit genius. And seven damage. And uh, oh no, uh, first things first, we'll uh, do one damage to get rid of this uh, photographic reflexes, then take one damage here. Then we use the crimson bands. And we have the seven rings of Rogador, which we can't play yet. So we'll this. So, okay, um, I uh, will hit with War Machine. I think this gets removed, I'm sure. And after attach, ally attacks or towards deal one damage to an enemy. So we deal one damage here, so it's. Uh, 15 damage here and we deal one counter card because we revealed Dustmaster phase 2 
Okay. Um, do we want to remove that? No. Let's just let's just play Goliath. I'll keep the magic blast in hand. Uh, Goliath hits for a dwarf for two. Actually, I'll play the seven rings. So we keep tough to cut the strains. Uh, Stinger and War Machine. Then we're ready up. Oh yeah, this won't get shuffled yet. Get Master of Mystic Arts, Reinforced Suit, Assess the Situation, Avengers Mansion, and Protective Ward. We go to the villain phase, we just add uh, two threat here. Taskmaster attacks, uh, Stinger will defend. So three plus. Oh yeah, the attacks gain Pierce as well. Whatever. Those two tough. Uh, encounter cards. First one is captured by Hydra. We're just ignoring that. And the second one is advance. So I think I'm protective warding that. So it doesn't happen. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, I think I'm ending this this turn. So, action Goliath gets plus four attack until the end of the phase. So we'll uh, add that. So we hit for five. Then I will play the Winds of a Tomb. Three cards. Actually, I'm. Uh, I'm uh, using the Master of Mystic Arts to play that. So I've got three cards. Two Astral Projections and Magic Blast. Already. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't exhausted to play that, so. Now I'll play it for reals. So I draw three cards with an extra and cut a card. And we get the Crimson Bands. So uh, we are readying. We are playing the Crimson Bands. So it's done. I just play it with the, like these two cards. So 7 damage here. And we'll finish off with... Well, uh, anything really. Well, let's... Uh, let's just hit with War Machine. Okay, well... That was Taskmaster on on the Clobbering Time Challenge on Standard Difficulty with Doctor Strange Leadership. Next up we have Red Skull against Iron Man Justice. So I'll set that up, so I'll be right back. Now we are facing Red Skull, 
and playing Iron Man Justice. So let's see how this matchup goes. So we already have the Red House in play. Let's draw our opening hand. Uh, we get rocket boots, power gauntlets, reforcer, blast, rocket boots, pepper pots, and stark tower. Uh, let's use the futurist and grab. Well, it really doesn't matter which uh, card we grab. I think we are just. Setting up. Let's pick the power gauntlets. We'll play pepper pots. I'll think I hmm. actually let's use the rocket boots to play stock tower. I'll use the tower to get back one. Pocket boots. Then I'll play pepper pots. And use the resource from the top of the counter deck to play rocket boots and I think that is our whole turn so setting up and we really need to hit our threat removal cards and get to hero mode as fast as possible let's draw our hand back to six cards Any? so okay we get conquerors flow foiled which is really good because we can now stop uh, scheming, getting boost cards, uh, War Machine, Spider-Man, Energy and Concussive Blow. So now we need to plan out our turn with the uh, Energy. So I think we're, uh, well, we'll see that next turn, but this turn, I think I am going to the villain phase, so we add a threat to the main scheme. So, uh, Red Skull schemes for 2 plus uh, 0, so we don't use the foiled encounter. Oh, yeah, and before that, uh, we reveal a mass chaos, so we get uh, four, uh, 5 armor. Okay, this changes our plans a bit, so we get. Clear the area, interrogation room, play down the hall, repulse of blast, and mark 5 armor. So we have uh, three different energy symbols. Let's just put this on top because we are getting that back into our hand. Let's see. So yeah, we add three thread here. Oh yeah, now the encounter card. And it is Assault, it searches. And we get Red Skull's right hook. It's an attachment, attached to Red Skull. Red Skull gains Retaliate 1. Hero action spend energy, mental and physical resources. Discard this card. Okay, so Red Skull has Retaliate. That is annoying. But what can you do? That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. I think we need to head up to hero mode soon enough, but for now, I think we could uh, use the stock tower to get Mark 5 armor. Then I will play the Mark 5 armor so we get 6 hit points. Oh yeah, and we got one from the rocket boots, which I forgot. And we'll use pepper pots and 
rest of these uh, to play down Spider-Man. And uh, we remove three threat from a scheme. Move it from here. And it needs to be the side scheme. Okay, and Spider-Man will thwart for two. And we'll start removing threat from the red house. Actually, no. Let's move it from here so we don't advance. And uh, I'm not using the Futurist this turn, so we ready up. We drop up to six. Now we get Haymaker, Skilled Investigator, Under Surveillance, Lay Down the Law, Concussive Blow, and Endurance. We are a threat to the main scheme. Uh, Red Skull. Schemes for 2 plus. We give the villain a tough status card. And, oh yeah, we add Hydra Patrol. Okay, well, we get an encounter card which is a Hydra Jet Trooper, so it has quick strike, but we are in Alter Ego, so it doesn't do anything. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, we start by getting the top uh, deck card from the discard. We get the power gauntlets. I'll use pepper pots and compassive uh, blow. Play the gauntlets. I think we need to go to a Hero mode this turn. So I'm uh, flipping. Oh no, first I flip Futurist. And I'll actually grab the Arc Reactor. And I'll actually play the Arc Reactor. Then uh, we'll flip. I will lay down the law. So I'll pay it with the uh, under surveillance. So we remove three threat from a scheme. Uh, we'll remove it from the red house. I'll swap this away. Now that I'm thinking, I really should have uh, used this, so I actually have the skilled investigator in hand and played, so I can draw a card, so I get foiled, doesn't matter that much for this turn, but still, um, we can ready, I'll uh, remove two more threat from here, uh, Spider-Man will Remove two threat from here. Then I will power gauntlets to remove the tough. Take one from retaliate. I'll discard the foiled. Uh, so I have four tech cards in place. So I am uh, in. And so I've so five. Oh yeah, we're ready up. We get supersonic punch times two. Clear the area, lay down the law and hold jaw. Okay. Villain phase starts. We add a threat to the main scheme. We add a side scheme and it's the sensor of the past. Uh, it adds an acceleration token and three threat. When defeated, each player chooses up to three cards in their discard pile and shuffles them into their deck. That's really good actually. 
Uh, Red Skull attacks. Red Skull has attack of one plus. Well, I'm just taking Iron Man. So we give Red Skull tough status and one boost. So two damage. Hi, uh, Hydra Jet Trooper attacks. I'll just take it with Iron Man. And we get an encounter card. And it's an assault, so we just take it with Iron Man. So, uh, one plus one is two. Okay, so that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So, um, I'm thinking of sporting for one, uh, two here. Then I'll use pepper pots to clear the area. So remove this. I'll draw a card. Uh, actually, to check this. Yeah, so I draw the card right now. Then uh, we'll shuffle three cards that we want into the counter deck. We need those cards. Okay, and we'll pay for another clear the area with Lockjaw. So we remove the last red here, and we draw a card, we get the under surveillance, and we actually draw one card with the skilled investigator. Then um, we are ready, I'll spend uh, mental for the rocket boots. An aerial. I'll hit power gauntlet this jet trooper away. Then I will uh, use under surveillance and revolver blast to supersonic punch. No, first Spider Man will get defeated by removing the tough. No, uh, <laughs> I'll use the repulsor blast to remove that. So I take one retaliate here. So, Spider-Man was the one to defeat the uh, Hydrogen Trooper. And now I super sonic punch for 8 damage here. And that is my turn, I'll keep the super sonic punch in hand. Go back up to 5. Get Helmet, Foiled, Power Gauntlets. Under surveillance and super sonic punch. So, fortunately, we don't have a uh, mental resource for next turn, but it is what it is. But yeah, and we took one retaliate from the super sonic punch. That is the hero phase. Are we ready up? Um. We add threat to the main scheme. Red Skull attacks. Spider-Man will defend. Oh yeah, we get the recent camps. So Spider-Man is defeated. And come the card for this turn is Peter Rival. Exhaust a character you control for each side scheme in play, so exhaust Iron Man. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Well, uh, that was lucky because now we have a mental resource on top of the discard pile, so we spent pepper pots to activate rocket boots. And I'll play. Our gauntlets. 
I'll uh, I'll use the power gauntlet, so I'll take two, retaliate, and flip. And get an encounter card. Okay. So 16 more health, so next turn we'll definitely want to just first punch. And uh, uh, I think I exhausted the wrong card there, so I'll uh, ready with that arc reactor. I will... I think I'll... Uh, I'll flip... I'll heal up by three. Uh, then I'll search for the helmet. I'll play the helmet. And keep the super person punch in hand. I'll draw back up to six now. Okay, well we hit foiled, which is really good for this situation. Concu uh, concussive blow via the area and heroic intuition. Are you ready up? Then we will add two threads here. Then uh, red skull schemes for three plus two. So I will use the boiled to cancel. I cancel the boost icon, so only three gets added. So we don't advance yet. Then we get encounter cards. Oh uh, yeah, uh, first we get the Hydra reinforcements. Then we get an extra. Okay, so four um, encounter cards. Uh, Red skulls, hook, uh, right hook. Hydra Jet Trooper, Hydra Regular, and Hydra Flame Soldier. Okay, well, uh, we definitely want to try and win next turn. So let's see if we can do that. But not, then we have to think of something else. But that is. The villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well I, I think I have the lethal, I just need to play it correctly. So first thing we do is we just flip. We will clear the no, we will use the mm, helmet. Uh, to remove one from here. Then we will clear the area. To so remove this, draw a card. So we get to uh, search our deck or discard for an ally, put it into play. Put Spider-Man over War Machine. Or Lockjaw. I think it's Spider-Man. Then I'll use Pepper Pots to get Ariel. Get the Rocket Boots. Then I will Personic punch for eight. Take one retaliate. 
I will hit two, take retaliate, use the gauntlets, another two retaliate, hit for one, take a retaliate, I uh, use the arc reactor to ready and hit for one. So we just had lethal there and I forgot to draw with the skilled investigator, it doesn't matter. But yeah, that is the third villain down. Uh, so Iron Man Justice versus Red Skull and next up we have uh, Ant-Man uh, versus Claw and I think I leave the Black Panther versus Ultron as the final. I will be splitting these games up into videos so this is the end of the first video. Be sure to check out the second part for the rest of the uh, Clobbering Time Challenge. Thanks for watching and until next time.